Now there's something called a transparency also, which I would like to talk about right now. Okay, I do not want to be well shaped. So I can just maybe select this and then clear it off to zero. So I have a rectangle. Remember if I sh put a shift and then press it, I'll get a square similar to the oval tool. Now, yeah, so I can use the paint tool to change the color. Now we were talking about transparency. So if you select this, you can see there's something called an alpha here. Now, right now it's 100. I can maybe reduce it to 60. And you can see it's becoming lighter. So it's basically the transparency value. If I make it zero and so it's completely white. So this basically tells you the transparency of the color which is being, which is in question. So if I get it back to 100, you can see whatever color I choose is here. So this alpha and I can just say no color. It means nothing is there. I can choose it through this. I can use a color picker. I can choose any color and the values of the colors come in. Now essentially a color has three components. It has red, green and blue. This is the H R RGB values. This means that the, it, this, the maximum that can be here is 255. So if I just manually put in 255 for all these values, you'll see it's going to the white color. So we know through the uh, WebGuard concept that white light is made up of all the colors. So that is why if RGB, the complete components are present, it means it's white. If it's zero, it means it's a black color. So any color, it has an RGB value. I can just change the colors and I know the values of them. I can directly use them or I can just find out from this. Now this HSV, this is known as, as the HSV uh, representation of any color. So this is basically the U, the saturation and the luminance of the color. So you need not worry about this. You just need to pick out the color and use it. And I'll use the paint this and I'll put it inside. So uh, this basically is the rectangle tool. Now we would like to cover the other tools. Um, we can start with the pen tool. Now pen tool you can see the stroke I can change it. I can choose uh, the stroke size can also be increased decreased. So maybe this kind. If I just say click and a straight click a straight line is got. So this is basically so huge because the stroke is really big. So make it again 4. And now click. Click. This is working like a straight pen. Another way to use it is I can just double click this to finish it off or right click. So I got a shape here. Otherwise, click and drag. If I just click and drag, and I click and drag again, click and drag again, click and drag again. And you can see I can make a shape out of this. This is for the curved features wherever I want to. Be. We'll use these in the motion tool later on. Then we come on to the line tool. This is basically to draw lines. 
they can be various kinds of lines so maybe we can take a hash dashed one take the strokes as this you can change the color if you want to and it will draw the lines straight lines then we move on to the pencil tool now the pencil tool you can see here there's a in the pencil mode there's something called a straighten smooth and ink now if I choose the ink then whatever I draw remains as such the pencil is drawing like a free hand pencil which we use since I took it as a dashed line it's coming like this I could have chosen a solid now again the in the pencil tool now have a pencil which is solid blue in color and maybe I'll use the straighten so you can see it kind of straightens out whatever lines I draw not completely straight but yes whatever is mistakes I'm making it's kind of straightening them out then I can do the smoothing so this will suppose I make something it's kind of smoothing it out so this is the pencil tool and the various modes here then I have the brush tool in the brush tool I have other other options these, these are the shapes of the brushes available with me I can use a round one a kind of a rectangular a square one various kinds of brushes and the size of brushes are also there so I can use the bigger one and the smaller ones are available the color again of the brush depends on the color here so you can see it's like a brush if I take it to be a square brush see it's the width is like not same it, it's as if you're using a brush a real brush and the size is changing similarly I can have this so these are the shapes and the sizes which you can play around with then we have this spray brush tool this is basically to spray paint see the color here and maybe see the brush size is again changeable I can change it I can reduce it the height can be reduced and this is the effect like a spray painting kind of a thing so it can be used to fill out gaps with a smaller size and it can be used for decoration also then there's something called a deco tool the deco tool is has lots and lots of effects here so you have a wine fill so suppose I just take the wine fill with its default colors and everything and I just press you can see it's filled with a vine so it's filling the entire space with the vine I can just say control Z and undo this then I can choose some other deco tool and you can just maybe say a flower brush you can choose the rows there the colors can be changed for the branches and everything I want a branch here and you can see beautiful flowers you can make with your brush undo another one we can just say a tree brush it's making a tree so these are beautiful tools which you can use and play around with your imagination trees also there are various kinds of trees that you can choose from
right then you have the paint bucket tool which we had talked about earlier also this is just to pour in the values the uh, the thing here now suppose i make try to make a rectangle and i leave a gap here now see nothing is happening i have this saying that okay don't close gaps if i say close large gaps see it's closing the larger gaps and it's still filling this entire shape so this can be used often to close whatever kind of errors that you're making and just fill in this is an eyedropper tool this is just to capture whatever colors that you any anybody else is used so suppose i say open and i maybe open up any other file and i want to find out the color used in this i can just use the eyedropper tool and see this color is here so i may want the exact color i can get it through the eyedropper tool another tool is the hand tool so this is just to pan the view you can just click and drag to pan the view this is the eraser tool so i can just erase there's a size to it you can use the shape and the size and you can erase the drawings made right so this is pretty much like your ms paint stuff now something new which comes in is the bone tool so what we'll do is we'll make a shape i'll make a star here and maybe i'll just use four sides of it and i'll change the color here get to something orange suppose i have a star like this if i want to make use the bone tool this is like inserting bones inside your structure so i'll just select here one is made another one here another one here and yet another one here now you can see that see i can move around as if this is my arm a starfish having arms but it's a four sided one so with the bones put in between so this can be used for animations and movements so this is your bone tool this is your zoom in so you can control you can just maybe click and you can see it's coming to 200 i click again 400 so just twice and i can also change it from here right now this is just to toggle in between the colors swap colors so you can see this is the uh, fill color and this is your stroke color so if i just press this it will kind of swap the colors toggle them back now okay then this is the free transform tool so this is you can just select it from here or otherwise you could also say modify transform and free transform once selected you can kind of rotate okay uh, i'll just use a simple one here so maybe i'll just draw a rectangle and what were we trying to do so now we can apply the free transformation tool on this so you can see you can just kind of rotate this 
select both and I can rotate this I can sh shrink this skew this shrink and do other couple of things here now another thing that I would like to show here now suppose I make a rectangle here if I just use the selection tool here you can see that there's a rounded structure which comes in so you can kind of round it up select this to round up again maybe like this so you can just hover and find out what can be done to move you can just move but this was selected and move it around. 